Hey everybody, it's Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. And today is going to be a Do-It-Yourself Project on the Jeep. We set up the tripod and start the engine and you'll hear what the problem is. shut it off before it gets hot on me so the exhaust is broken and because I have two O2 sensors down line from the exhaust we have a problem I cannot just take it off and run into town and get some parts so I've got to do some repairs to get this put together so I can get some proper parts so today I'm going to do something which people have been doing for years to keep their exhaust system repaired and working. I'm going to use a soup can and some hose clamps to get this exhaust put back together. It's cracked almost all the way through and twisting a little bit. And if I can get the camera down there properly at a good angle, I'll show you. So it's still holding on, but it's almost all the way through enough that I think I can get it together with a soup can and some hose clamps if I can find some hose clamps that are big enough and uh, we're gonna get this Jeep back on the road so we can get some parts anyway let's go I'm gonna go look for some some parts some uh, clamps hopefully I got some that'll fit it okay guys this is something that every every person who drives a car should have on hand anyway um, I don't remember if this was... I've got a dollar store version that's a little bit smaller than this kit. Oh yeah, it was five dollars kit from Tractor Supply. I thought it was Tractor Supply. This is something everybody should always have on hand if, you're, if you own a vehicle. This could save your life in many ways. And a soup can. Everybody probably has a soup can laying around somewhere. So this is going to be my field expedient car exhaust repair kit right there. I don't have a way to get to town until I take that and fix that exhaust because of those O2 sensors as I said. There's two of them behind where the brake is and this is going to get us back on the road. So here we go. I'm going to start preparing this. I've got to get a uh, can opener to prepare my new exhaust repair kit. Alright and this is the only tool you need to prepare the work so far. Later I'm going to get tin snips, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, I've got to get this. I am left-handed, so I have to open the can, take the bottom end off the can. That's the first thing we need to do. All right, put it in the garbage, recycling, whatever. You don't need that. Now we've got the start to our exhaust system repair kit. Now here, the only thing I need are the two larger hose clamps that will fit my exhaust system. So there is all we need for our exhaust system repair kit. This is going to get us back on the road. Now the next step, I have to cut the can in half. I'm going to try to do it close to the original weld line on the can because that could be a weak point in this. And we don't want any weak points in our exhaust repair. It's very quick and simple. Be careful. This is going to be sharp edged. You don't want to cut yourself. Done. Hang that back up. Now we are ready to put on our exhaust repair kit. That's all there is to it right there. So I've got some gloves, hose clamps, screwdriver, tin can, and a broken exhaust that needs repairing. So it's going to be hard for me to record down here because I can't get the tripod down here. So what I'm going to do now is form the can around the uh, exhaust. And I'm going to put my gloves on before I proceed because that is part of the instructions. <laughs> so I'm going to, it's going to, I'll, be, I'll have to show you bit by bit, but next I'm going to form this 
can tight around the exhaust and then I'm gonna get the hose clamps ready I'll be back by the way to prepare your hose clamps open them all the way all the way until the it comes apart because I have to get it around the can it's very awkward underneath the Jeep I should do this outside I didn't think of that when you're recording everything's different yeah it's awkward I would use a, I should maybe also get a little ratchet that fits that it'll make my life so much better okay there I'm gonna get the other one prepared and I'll be back in a minute now I took my gloves off to re work on the camera what I've got everything's just sitting here okay now I'm gonna put my gloves back on I'm gonna shove this back up into the clamp and, uh, and I'm gonna get it set and I'm gonna get the other clamp on here as well and I'm gonna set up the clamp so that the screw is on the bottom so I can always reach it with ease and then I'm just gonna get it set and we'll be back here in a minute now you can see I've got it set I've got the overlap here okay and I've got the, the screws to the bottom now I'm just gonna tighten that down all the way now the brake is right here okay can I, I don't know if the light there the brake is here so I've set the clamp to be right pretty much over the brake as close as I can uh, to put tension I'm, I'm, I'm off to the side of the brake but really close to it because that's where all the pressure is going to be and any other clamp is over ways all right and I'm if I get another clamp I might put it right in the middle just for extra safety but this will hold to get me to town and get uh, proper repair parts now I got it pretty close I'm just tightening a couple turns on one screw then the other screw and then the other screw and back and forth to make sure it closes down evenly and that can is gonna squeeze down and fold up inside itself around that pipe forming a nice tight bond and there is our patch job on the exhaust so I should be able to drive it for a while and get this repaired I'm gonna have to cut out this pipe from here to the cat the problem is where this O2 sensor is is gonna be awkward so I'm gonna have to get a piece of pipe to replace all of this here's where it's flanged where is my hand here's where it's flanged and goes over and all this piece is gonna to have to come out but this will get me back on the road again so let's fire it up see how it sounds oh one thing when you're tightening these clamps they can't be torqued down hard alright so when you feel it get tight stop and then after I run it for a little bit, a little bit I'll check it again and retighten those to make sure they don't loosen up on me the can is probably gonna gonna give a little and tighten up on there and, and it's gonna relax and uh, and bend itself down to a better fit so these are gonna loosen up a little bit with time all right so I'll be checking that after my uh, I, I run this a little bit but that should be fine for a while all right let's start this out and see if it's gonna work That's exactly how it was before it broke. That's it. Well, there you go, guys. That's how you can uh, perform a field repair, a field patch up job on an exhaust system on the fly with two hose clamps and a soup can. So, if you're ever stranded somewhere and your exhaust breaks, don't wait until it falls off all the way if you can catch it because if there's some meat on there it makes your job easier you can do it if it breaks off but it's going to be more tension and more stress on those that can and less than your miles you'll get out of that can so I caught it uh, I was on the road and I was far from home when it happened fortunately I was able to get home or I do have the 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 soup can and the clamps but there's something you should always keep on hand guys um, you should always have extra equipment in your vehicle anyway you should always have some tools a pair of gloves and uh, I'll, I'll show you some other things in the future but a coat hanger some duct tape uh, soup cans some hose clamps and your spare fluids the essential fluids like antifreeze 
and brake fluid. And there's some other things, maybe one day I'll go over a car uh, emergency kit that you should have at all times. Well, that's it for today, guys. That's how you fix your exhaust on the field in a hurry to get back on the road. And remember, that's a temporary patch. You do got to get it fixed properly. But there you go. I hope this helps somebody. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Follow our videos as we strive to become fully self-sufficient and off the grid on a budget. And doing your own vehicle repairs is definitely self-sufficiency. Talk to you all later.